Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making another asymmetric room. This time it is a tiny living room. So if you are ready, hop on the train and let's get started. Let's set up our workspace first. Click on the camera icon to toggle camera view. Select render properties. Change the render engine to cycles and device to GPU compute. Under color management, change the look to medium high or high contrast. Next, go to output properties. Since I want to render in a square frame, I set resolution value as equal to Y. Click on camera icon at the top right to open camera setting. Change the camera type to auto graphic. Finally, under dimension, you can select and track on both S and Y to set the values to 4.5 and Z value to 4. Go to the side view and move the object above the origin point, then adjust the camera accordingly. With the default cube is being selected, press tab to go to edit mode, 3 for faces selection, select these 3 faces, then press X to delete, select the bottom face P to separate selection, so we have 2 separated objects. Select the wall, go to modifier properties, add modifier, and select solidify. Turn on even thickness, then change the thickness value and offset to 1. Select both objects, Ctrl L and select copy modifier. For the floor, change the offset value to minus 1. Apply modifier on both objects. Press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision modifier, then add a bevel modifier and move it on top. Change the amount to 1, segments to 2. Limit method to weight, increase the shape value to 1. Press tab to go to edit mode, A to select everything, then under edges data, increase the mean bevel weight to 1. We then copy modifier to the floor and also increase the mean bevel weight of the floor to 1. Select both objects, right click to shade smooth and set origin to geometry. Then go to the top right hand corner to change the name for each item. Also press Ctrl A to apply scale. Next, select the floor, tap to go to edit mode, select the top face, Shift D to duplicate and P to separate selection. So with the new object being selected, right click and choose subdivide, change the number of cuts to 8, select this face, press P to separate selection, then delete the rest. Right click the new object and set origin to geometry. Go to edit mode A to extrude up, then increase the mean bevel weight to 1. Now we will add an array modifier, change the factor X to 0, Y to 1 and increase count number to 9. Add another array modifier, this time change the factor X to minus 1 and also increase count number to 9. Change the name. Select the wall, go to edit mode, Ctrl R to add a loop cut on the right side. Go to the top view, you can see that the line is not aligned with X or Y axis. So to straighten, press S, X, 0. Ctrl B to bevel it out. Ctrl R to add another loop cut perpendicular to the last one. Also bevel out. Select these two opposite faces. Ctrl E and choose bridge edge loops. A to select everything and increase the mean bevel weight again. Alternate left click to select the whole inner face. Shift D to duplicate and P to separate selection. Right click and set origin to geometry. Press alternate E to extrude faces along normals then drag it out. A to select all. S, Y to scale out in the Y axis. 
then increase the mean bevel weight to 1. The frame doesn't entirely cover everything, so let's select the interface again. Press S, Shift Y to scale it, but retain the Y value. Shift D to duplicate and P to separate selection. Select the new object, go to Edit Mode, A to select all, F to fill, S, Y to scale down in the Y axis. Go to the front view. In edit mode, Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Alternate Z to turn on X-ray view. Press 1 for vertices selection. Select vertices on one side and then press X to delete. Select the center loop, F to fill, then A to select all and increase the mean bevel weight. Press 3 for faces selection. Select these two opposite faces. I to intrude, then press E, S, Y to extrude inward. Ctrl R to add one loop cut vertically to horizontally. Select all 12 faces from two sides, then press I two times to intrude separately. Again, press E, S, Y to extrude inward. Once done, A to select all, then increase the mean bevel weight to 1. Exit the X-ray view. This time, add a mirror modifier and we have both windows. Shift right click and bring the cursor to one side of the window frame. Shift A to add a circle. In the circle properties, change the vertices to 8 and fill tab to end goal. Press RX90 to rotate the object 90 degrees on the X axis and S to scale down. Press slash on your keyboard to enter isolation view. In edit mode, E to extrude then select both faces and intrude. Select the frontal interface, extrude inward then intrude just a tiny bit and finally extrude out. Ctrl B to bevel and use the mouse wheel to increase the number of cut. Select the center face. I to intrude, E to extrude out. Then in the side view, Ctrl right click to extend the mesh following the mouse cursor. We will make the hook shape. At the end, press S, Z, 0 to straighten. Adjust the shape to your liking, then right click to shade smooth. Exit the isolation view. Add a mirror modifier and select the window frame as the mirror object. Select the mirror frame, Shift S and bring the cursor to select it. Shift A to add a cylinder. In the cylinder properties, change the vertices to 8. Press R, Y, 90 to rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. S to scale down and use the Z arrow to bring it up. Go to the side view and place the object on the hook. Ctrl 
control R to add a loop cut in the center. Delete vertices on one side, then add a mirror modifier and change the vertices to Z. Use E and S to create a sphere at the end of the curtain rod. Control 2 to add subdivision. Add a loop cut and slide over to define the shape. Now to make the curtain, Shift A to add a blend, press R X 90 to rotate the object 90 degrees on the X axis, move it into position. Ctrl A to apply the scale, then Ctrl R to add an odd number of cuts. Alternatively, select the edges, use the wipe arrow to bring them out. A to select or E to extrude. Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Ctrl B to bevel out and right click to shade smooth. Set origin to geometry, bring the object into position. Add more loop cut and adjust the size if needed. Alternate D or Shift D to duplicate and move it to the other side. Select the windows and window frame then Ctrl B and set parent to object. This way when you move the parent object, all the objects that are linked to it will be moved as well. Let's do the same for the curtain and change the name accordingly. Select a face on the left side wall, Shift D to duplicate and P to separate selection. Set origin to geometry and scale down. Press A to select all and E to extrude out to form the basic shape of the table. Increase the main bevel weight, then Ctrl A to apply scale. Select the frontal face, I to intrude, E to extrude inward. We are making a two-door TV stand, so we need to divide this box into two. Ctrl R to add a loop cut in the middle, then Ctrl B to bevel L. Select the two faces that were just created, E to extrude. Select all and increase the mean bevel weight to 1. 
Press 2 for edge selection, alternate left click to select the outer loop, Shift D to duplicate and P to separate selection. Now press 1 for vertices selection, select the extra vertices and press X to dissolve. Press A to select all, F to fill, E to extrude to create a door frame and fill in the gap. Ctrl R to add a loop cut in the middle, delete one side. Select the middle area, then press F to fill. Select all and increase the mean bevel weight. Select the frontal face, I to intrude and E to extrude inward. At this point, I think we are all familiar with the mean bevel weight, so I will not keep repeating it throughout the video. Now let's add a mirror modifier and change the axis to Y. Go to edit mode, select the frontal face, then duplicate and separate selection. Ctrl R to add a loop cut, then scroll on the mouse wheel to increase the number of cuts. Ctrl B to bevel them out just a tiny bit, then press X to delete faces. Press A to select or E to extrude out. Now add a loop cut horizontally, bevel it out to create a handle. Select the face we just created, duplicate, then scale down in the Y axis. Then move it toward the center extrude out, add a loop cut and extrude the side face. I found the object looked kinda stiff so I decreased the shape value on the bevel modifier. Once done, select all then right click to shade smooth and Ctrl B to set parent object. Shift A to add a cylinder then scale it down. Delete the top face and bevel out the bottom face. Ctrl 2 to add subdivision and right click to shade smooth. Move it to one corner then add a mirror modifier. Set the table as the mirror object then select both X and Y axis. Now add it to the parent object. Make changes if needed, then rename the object. Duplicate and separate another face on the wall. Scale down. Intrude and extrude the frontal face to create a TV. Adjust the size so that it looks good with the TV console. I think it looks better if the console is at least a little bit wider than the TV. Now move everything into position, straight smooth and change the name.
Now we will utilize a face on the TV console. Duplicate separate and move it to the right side. Ctrl R to add 3 loop cuts, bevel out and delete faces. Select all as truth up and change the bevel setting if needed. Add an array modifier, set the count to 3, then change the factor to Z and increase the value to where you see fit. Right click and set origin to geometry, shift S to bring the cursor to select it, then shift A to add a cube, scale down then place the object on the floor. Then use the top face to extend. Copy modifier from the shells, but remove the array modifier and add a mirror modifier instead. Turn on both X and Y axis. Press R to rotate to create a triangular shape. Once done, set parent object and change object name. Duplicate the floor object, bring it up and scale down. Ctrl A to apply scale. Select this face from the side view, press E to extrude out and R to rotate. Add loop cuts and use the vertices to shape the sofa.
I want to create a curved back sofa, so let's select faces on both sides and on the back. Duplicate separate then bring up the top edge. Add thickness with the solidify modifier, increase the thickness value. Add the loop cut and bring down so that the bottom is cut kind of flat. Modify the object until you find something you like. Duplicate the table legs to use for our sofa. Increase the height, rotate and change the mirror object to the sofa. Set the sofa seat origin to center of mass surface. Ctrl P to set parent object. Shift A to add a new cube. Add Z to scale down in the Z axis. Ctrl A to apply scale then Ctrl 2 to add subdivision modifier. Add a loop cut on each side. Select 4 corners, add Z to scale down then bring up the center area. Also scale down two sides. Right click to shade smooth. We finished making a pillow. Let's add more and place them on the sofa to make the room feel more cozy.
Once done, add them to the parent object and change name. Move on to create a coffee table. Shift A to add a circle. Use the Z arrow to move up. E to extrude and intrude both faces. Duplicate the legs from the sofa, change the height and change the mirror object to the tabletop. Bring the cursor on top of the table, Shift A to add a blend, then go to edit mode, right click and select subdivide. Set the number of cuts to 10, use the Z arrow to bring it up, Ctrl 1 to add subdivision, change the render value to 1. Go to physics properties, select cloth then scroll down, under collisions, turn on self collisions. Select the tabletop, turn on collisions and turn off the single sided. Hit the play button to run the simulation. You can adjust the shape to your preference. Add another subdivision modifier and a solidify modifier to add some thickness to the object. Once you are satisfied with the result, apply the modifiers from the top down. Set parent object and change name. 